Hello, I'm Cheryl Child, Compliance Manager for Bailey's Success Realty. I'd like to take a couple of minutes of your time to talk to you about the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering Financing of Terrorism Act 2009. Banks have had to comply with this Act for some time now, and more recently, lawyers and accountants were captured by the Act. From the 1st of January, real estate companies are also required to comply with this Act. So what is money laundering? In its simplest form, money laundering is the process of taking illegally obtained money, such as cash obtained from drug dealing, and turning it into clean money that cannot be traced back to the crime and therefore can be used as though it was obtained through a lawful means. If you've watched Breaking Bad, Narcos or Ozarks, you will understand how this is done. As a result of this act, your salesperson will require more information from you than they did previously, just how much they require will depend on the ownership structure of your property. If your home is owned by individuals, that is there is no company or trust involved anywhere in the ownership structure of your property, we will only need to take a copy of your ID and proof of your address. This is likely to be as simple as allowing your salesperson to photograph your passport and a utility bill showing your name and address to your residential address. If you don't have a passport, other forms of ID are acceptable, however we may require more than one form, depending on what sort of ID you have. If the property is owned by a company, we will require details of the company, such as the Certificate of Incorporation and Company Extract, together with proof of ID and address for each individual with more than 25% shareholding in the company, any individual who has effective control of the company, such as the CEO, if they aren't a 25% plus shareholder, and any individual who has authority to act on behalf of the company. We may also require evidence that a person acting on behalf of your company is authorised to do so. The Department of Internal Affairs deem trusts to be high risk entities for money laundering. Therefore, the Act says that where a trust is involved in the ownership structure of the property, we require more information than would be required for individuals or in most cases companies. If your property has a trust in the ownership structure, we will be asking that an individual client form be completed for each individual trustee, the set law of the trust, if they aren't a trustee, and if you have a professional trustee, any director of that trustee company with more than a 25% shareholding and the person acting on behalf of the trust. Additional information may be required for beneficiaries or appointees of your trust, but for most trusts, this is unlikely. A copy of your trust deed, together with information regarding your trust's source of wealth or source of funds. You may not feel comfortable providing this information to your salesperson, however I can assure you they aren't going to feel comfortable asking for it. It is however a requirement under the Act. Your salesperson needs to verify they have cited original documents. If this isn't possible, you can provide documents that have been verified by a trusted referee, for example a lawyer or JP. Your salesperson can offer you other trusted referee options. Any documentation you provide to your salesperson will only be seen by those people within our company who are required by law to authorise the information you have provided. It will be kept strictly confidential. Unfortunately, if we can't verify your ID and address, or if the information you provide to us is insufficient, we may not be able to act for you. Everyone's situation is different, so please speak to your salesperson if you need more information or visit the webpage keepourmoneyclean.govt.nz. We look forward to assisting you with your sale.